Another thing that's emerging, and this is something that's relatively new, and we're doing a fair amount of it, is called radioembolization. Now, everybody knows that radiation is used to treat malignant tumors. And you go down there for like every day for 20 days, and they deliver through an x-ray machine a beam to the tumor. The problem with that is, is it's pretty nonspecific. You know, it kills everything in its way. And your liver and other organs in your body can only tolerate so much radiation. And you can get skin burns, you can get your intestines all out of fritter because they get radiation. But it is now possible to use these same catheters that I've just told you about, put them close to the tumor, and put these little tiny beads in that are laden with radiation, and it's a very special radiation that only penetrates about five millimeters in the body. It's very concentrated, and using this technology, you can use it to treat all sort of different tumors. Now, I will tell you that it takes years to accumulate scientific evidence, which actually will guide you, and you know, this is done by taking many people, hundreds, maybe thousands of people treated with one technique, and hundreds or thousands treated with another technique, have them all matched for the type of tumor they have, their age, the other diseases they have, and see how long the survival is. So we don't have that data, but the early data that has been published with regard to this radiation type of therapy, this internal radiation therapy, really looks pretty good. And people, it'll take another two or three years before large enough trials are out, but certainly it's something that we're excited about and we've done it with a high degree of success and a very low degree of complication rate.